Hey guys, this is James Quick, Microsoft Technical Evangelist here in South Florida. On the screen right now you can see my contact information. As usual, my Twitter handle is at jquickwit. My Microsoft email address is jaquick at microsoft.com. If you're local in the South Florida area, the meetup group is the Miami Fort Lauderdale Windows App Developers. And then I also um, run my blog at blogs.msdn.com slash quick underscore spot. So what I'm here to talk about today is building your first mobile web app with jQuery Mobile. Uh, my expectations, if you're watching this video, is that you have basic HTML and JavaScript knowledge, uh, nothing, nothing very in-depth at all, just, just very basic experience with HTML tags and maybe a tad bit of JavaScript. It should be pretty straightforward. We'll do a very simple introductory example using jQuery Mobile and build our first mobile web app. So the first thing is, what is jQuery Mobile? jQuery Mobile, um, so the website is jQueryMobile.com. jQuery Mobile is an HTML5 based user interface system designed to make responsive websites and apps that are accessible on our, all smartphones, tablets, desktops, devices. So a couple of key words there, it is, it's really focused on the user interface. So it, it gives you um, different controls that look look and, and have a mobile feel to them. Um, it, it, um, it keeps you from having to manually write um, code in CSS that kind of customizes and themes your project. jQuery Mobile takes care of that for you. It is, it's touch optimized, so it's, it's built for mobile and it's built to be responsive and scale. So what that means is, is that it will, it will kind of look good regardless of what um, size browser you have, whether it's on a phone, a desktop, or anywhere in between, right? So it, it does that scaling for you. So it's really good for building apps that have the mobile feel, and you can take that and go pr cross-platform with all your different popular um, phone platforms, so Windows Phone, iOS, Android, Blackberry, all of the above. Um, and I'm going to work a little bit in W3 schools today. We'll do a couple of their pages here. Uh, W3 Schools, if you haven't used it before, is an awesome site for introductory um, kind of walkthroughs on a bunch of different things, including a lot of um, a lot of web technology. So a lot of stuff you would use in the web. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got open Sublime Text, which is uh, just a simple text editor. You can use whatever text editor you like. I like uh, Sublime Text. So I'm going to do a new file. And I'm going to save this. I'm going to save as. And I'll save it to my desktop as index.html. I want to make sure I save that as an HTML uh, document. Save it there. And now let's go back over to W3Schools and let's go to the install. So to be able to use uh, jQuery Mobile, you have to add the references um, here. Uh, these scripts here. So you have to add in these scripts and this link just like you would for any other web project. If, if, you're, if you're bringing in JavaScript, you need to do that. If you're bringing in jQuery, you have to do that. So let me go in to get this actual code. And what this code is giving me so far is a, is a, blank, um, a blank web app with jQuery Mobile. So you can see it over here on the right. And the first part, I'm just going to copy this part in. So this, let me copy that over and let me copy over the closing body and HTML tag. All right, so now if we look in here, we see that we have three different references. The first is the style sheet, so it's a jQuery mobile CSS file. You need to have that one. You have the jQuery JS file. So jQuery mobile is built on top of jQuery, so you need its JS file. And then you have a JS file associated with jQuery like jQuery mobile as well. So the way these way apps are structured with jQuery, they are structured into pages and each page, this will load, each page has three different things, a header, a main or a content, and a footer. And um, so this is all inside of our body tag. So this is the typical layout for your any any web app that you build with jQuery mobile this is what it's going to look like again the header the main and the footer and you're going to use these attributes these tags here the data role tags and then 
there'll be other data something that are associated with jQuery mobile. So that's how you, you leverage jQuery mobile. So I'm going to copy, I've already got the body in there, I'm going to copy this part over and put it in here. So now I've got my basic page set up. If I want to save this, then I can come and go to my desktop and I'll open up this file. Internet Explorer, this is what it looks like, and I need to align, okay, so this is actually what it looks like, um, and I, we talked about responsive design, so if I shrink this down, this is more kind of what it looks like on the phone, and as it scales, it'll be responsive and scale with the size of the browser. So what we're going to do today is make a, a magic cue ball app, it's like a, an eight ball app, so what I've got here, I'll make it a little smaller so it looks more like an app. But basically, it's uh, you ask it a question, and then you click this button at the bottom, and it gives you some generic response, absolutely no time soon, uh, just like you used to with your regular regular eight ball. So I do have, I've got another page on here. I've got this about page. So if I click on here, it's got an about. It says, this is my first web app. This is what I did using jQuery mobile. And then it's got some buttons down here for the source code, and I'll show you where to get that. Uh, some feedback if you want to send me an email, a link to my Twitter and my Facebook. So that's what, that's what we're going to walk through building today. So we have, the, we have the basic layout here for, um, for our app. And now I'm going to go in and just change our header. So I'm going to change my header to magic cue ball. And let's see, in the, in the content section or the main section, I'm going to add a paragraph says think of a good question and click to ask below pretty simple and then I'm gonna add another one another key tag with an ID of response because I'm gonna need to dynamically change this in a minute through JavaScript and I'll just do a dot 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 there for now and close that out and then in the footer I'm going to add a um, one property, a data dash position equals fixed. And what this does, if we look over at our app right now, we see the blank one. All right, so our footer text is here floating around. If we do the data position fix for the footer and save this file and go back and reload this, now this footer will show up at the bottom, which is, which is what we want. All right, so now I want to go in and I'm going to actually create a second page, which is going to be our, our about page. So here, if, if we're on our main page, we can go to about and then it adds this back button to go back to the, to the first page we were at. So let's, what we can do, we can just basically copy this, this code from our page tag and just let me fix that up a little bit. So if we copy and paste this one more time, we can have multiple pages defined in one HTML file. Now this is, this is really cool because that means when you switch between these pages, you don't take more time to reload the HTML. Uh, all of it's uh, loaded up front, so you're just kind of staying in, in the one file, so you don't need to reload any code. So I'm going to change the header here to about. change that to about and I'm gonna say in the content this is my simple about page and I'll get rid of this extra paragraph and then I'll add those buttons to the bottom in a minute so once we have this page we obviously need a link in our uh, somewhere on the on the home page to go to the about page so I'm gonna add a a button basically to our header and it's just going to be an A with an href of about hashtag about and I'll show you what that does in a second and then we'll just give it a text of about and then close that A out so what this hashtag does is it tells you to navigate to the page that has the ID of about so down here in our about page I'm gonna come down and give it um, an ID of about. And up here, I'll give our home page an ID of home. So this way you can have these different pages within that same file and be able to reference them. 
So let's uh, rerun this. So if we rerun it, I've got my About button up here. If I click on it, I go to the About page. Now how do I get back? I need that Back button, right? So jQuery Mobile makes it pretty simple to add a Back button. And we'll do kind of a simple thing or a similar thing to what we just did. We'll come into the About page under its header. And we'll do another A, href, and we'll just give it the hashtag. And we can use um, icons from jQuery Mobile. So if you do a data slash or dash icon, and then we're going to use arrow dash one, which is the left arrow. And then this property, the data dot rel, will actually um, allow this thing to go back to the previous page. This way you don't have to tell it specifically which page to go to. It'll just go back to the last page. And once I've got that, I'll give it, I'll just make it say back and close it out with another A tag. And let's go back over and reload. So now, um, apparently I typed the, oh, sorry, not arrow one, but arrow L. So arrow left makes more sense. Let me reload this again. And now on the about page, well, let me start with the home page. I go to the about page and then I've got the back button and I can go back now. So we're getting pretty good on the layout. You might notice that these themes are a little different, the dark theme at the top and the bottom. And as I mentioned earlier, pretty briefly, jQuery mobile has built in themes that you can use. So you can go in, I could either put it in the page um, tag. So if I did a theme here that would cover the entire page, or you can do them individually. And I'll do the header, I'm going to do data dash theme equals, and I'll do B, which is the dark theme. And I'll leave the main content the same. And then I'll do the data dash theme equals B down in the footer again. And then I'll do the same thing on the about page so we have that consistent feel. So in the header, we'll do theme B. And then in the footer, we'll do theme B as well. Save that. Go back to Internet Explorer. Reload our app and now we're starting to see it looks like what we expect. Uh, one other thing we can do is we can center this text here. So I can go back over and in these two paragraphs I want to be able to center them to make them look um, a little nicer. And I can just add a center tag here and put my text in between the center tag and then do the same thing down here and put the dot 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 in between the center tag. Alright, now let's take a look again at what that looks like. And now everything's centered. So what what we want to do if we look back at, at the example, we want to add a button down here um, that's going to be able to change this text dynamically. So first thing we need to do obviously is add the button. So let's go down and instead of having this H1, I'm just going to do a button and we need to set the on click. So the on click event handler is, um, we, we kind of tell it which method we want to call when somebody clicks on this button. So we'll say on click equals and I'll call it get response. And then the text will just be ask the magic cue ball. Right, so we'll save that. Uh, no, I don't want to pay for that. Save that, come back over, reload this page. Now we should see the button. You can click on it, but it doesn't do anything because we haven't defined that method yet. So let's go back to Sublime. Now let's create a new file. Let's create a, let's see, control N. Let me save this as, save as, let me save as scripts dot js and all right and I'm gonna go over and just grab this code that I've already written and I'll just talk about it really briefly what it does it's pretty simple JavaScript uh, with a little jQuery but I've defined a responses array here so the responses are sorry I'm watching TV there's no doubt about it some simple generic um, kind of boring responses and then the function here the get response is defined here so what it's doing it's using jQuery selector, so this uh, dollar sign says go and get me the tag with ID response, 
and that response we define as our ID for that dot 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 um, in our app and then I want to set its text to and this is a fancy way of getting a um, a random string out of this responses array so pretty simple stuff um, and now I just need to go back over to our index and do a script and set the source to uh, that file so we can reference that JavaScript file as well. So source equals and we'll do script.js save that and save script.js now if we go back over to our browser and reload we should see that things are changing and apparently I did that a little, oh um, so instead of having the ID response for the key tag, we want to actually put that in the center tag, which is going to have our text. So we'll just put that in there, save, go back over, reload, and now when we click, we will get the answer where we expect it. So the last thing we need to do is go over to our about page and add in that uh, a nav bar what it, is what it's called, so it provides a bunch of different buttons. And let's see what that nav bar looks like. So let's go down here to our footer so we can get rid of this footer text. And I want to add a div and I want to set the data role attribute to nav bar. So this is one of those predefined controls that you can use um, with jQuery mobile. So it's one of those, one of those built in things that's really uh, fancy, nice, uh, easy to use and you just give it the data role of nav bar. So now we're just going to create an unordered list just like we're used to. Um, if, again, if you've done any basic HTML and then we'll do some list items. And in each list item, I'm going to have an A tag, eh, A tag, href, and I've got a couple links up here, so I'm going to copy them over. The first one is going to be my GitHub, where you can find the source code for this project. So there's the link to the source code, and then I'll just call it source code. And then we'll do li and a href. And then I'll do, if you want to send me some feedback, I'm going to add a mail to with my email paste that in there and I'll come down and do li a href actually I'm just gonna I'm gonna copy in these last two copy and paste them in save a little time and effort and the last two are just gonna be um, links to Twitter and then Facebook and if you see down here I'm also using um, data icons so these are again built in with jQuery mobile and you just have to reference them so data icon for the first one I'm going to say is edit, so it shows a little pin. I envision that working for source code. There's a data icon email, so that'll be good for sending me a response in email. And then I've got two info ones down here, and they seem to work for what I'm doing. So now let me save, go back over to our app again. Let's reload on here. So we click still working, and then go over to the about page, and Apparently I messed up that tag, but source code will take you out to my GitHub. And my GitHub is um, jqquick223, so github.com slash jqquick223. And then there's a folder for the Magic 8-Ball. Um, yes, please allow that. Uh, here's my Twitter link, so Twitter again is jquickwit. Uh, my Facebook page is jamesquick223. And then my email that I have in there is my Outlook email, but either one works. Um, so anyway, that's, that's building your first web app with uh, jQuery Mobile. And again, this is responsive. The, the big thing is that it scales for any device. So you can put this on any platform, on any device. It'll scale to any size, and it has that, that good mobile-looking feel to it. And I didn't have to add any custom CSS myself. So this looks like a pretty good simple first app that you could you could put on the mobile platform so anyway thank you guys for paying attention i will as i learn more i will be posting more videos on this and i look forward to sharing with you